Warfare is always evolving, and the warriors of the future have to have the proper tools needed to complete their mission. In the ever-changing arms race, the United States Army is making plans to phase out these venerable yet aging M4 rifles and the M249 squad automatic weapon, replacing them with newer and more effective firearms to handle these ever-changing threats on the battlefield of the future. To determine the most effective weapon that will be carried by American soldiers overseas, starting in 2019, the Army announced the Next Generation Squad Automatic Weapons Program, which was a competition between several weapons manufacturers, including General Dynamics, Lone Star Future Weapons, and Textron. After over two years of evaluations, the Army declared their winners, the XM5 and the XM250, both manufactured by Sig Sauer. The M4 and the M249 SAW have been used by the U.S. military for decades. The M4 was first adopted by the U.S. military in 1994, being a shorter and lighter version of the M16 rifle that was in use in one form or another since the Vietnam War. The M249 was created in the 1970s, with its adoption starting in the mid-1980s as a replacement for the M60 light machine gun. Both weapons were the backbone of American combat operations during the campaigns in Afghanistan and Iraq, as well as many other armed conflicts. They represent the basis of tactical doctrine for infantry squads. In combat, the M249 saw would provide the squad with sustained firepower. It had belt-fed ammunition, which would provide continuous fire, forcing an enemy to stay pinned down under cover, which would allow the rest of the squad, armed with the M4, to close in and destroy the enemy. These fire and maneuver tactics have their origins as far in the past as the trenches of World War I, becoming developed and refined during World War II, and also Korea, Vietnam, and many other smaller scale conflicts over the decades. Now that the global war on terror has run its course, the US Army is shifting its focus towards fighting more conventional wars against organized national militaries, rather than comparatively small scale conflicts against insurgents or other poorly equipped foes. Military forces around the world are investing very heavily in advanced body armor for its soldiers, so there are fears that the current weapons that are employed by the US military might not be up for the challenges of overcoming these defenses. Both the M4 and the SAW are chambered in the NATO standard 5.56 45mm cartridge, a round that has difficulties passing through level 4 body armor, which, by the way, is the standard level of protection adopted by the American armed forces. It's also being utilized by other forces around the world, including nations that might come into conflict with the US at some point in the future, like Russia or China. One of the first and most important parameters of the testing was the requirement that the new weapons be chambered in the new 6.8 by 51 mm cartridge. This is a newly designed round, one that the Army spokesperson described as more lethal against emerging threats than both the 5.56 and the 7.62 ammunition. Other parameters for evaluation include a cyclic rate of fire of 600 rounds per minute for 15 minutes without needing a barrel change, accuracy requirements, which include being able to engage a silhouette target at 50 meters within 2 to 4 seconds with a 3 to 5 round burst and have a hit rate of over 70%, as well as weight and length restrictions. After several designs were submitted by many manufacturers, the Army selected Sig Sauer XM5 and the XM250 as the winners. Once the weapons have officially adopted, however, the X will be dropped from the designation, labeling them as the M5 and the M250, respectively. Details are sparse at the time, but here's what we know. The XM5 assault rifle, the replacement for the M4, is select fire, magazine fed, and weighs in at 8.3 pounds, making it slightly heavier than the M4 at 7.3 pounds. Its increased weight is due to the action, which is a short stroke gas operated piston, which is heavier than the gas operated direct impingement system used by the M4 and other variants of the M16 platform, but it would require less cleaning, which is a boon to the soldier in the unforgiving conditions of the battlefield. The length of the weapon is not officially known, but the platform is based on the Sig Sauer MCX, which has an overall length of 35.7 inches, although similarities between the two is conjectured. The weapon can also fit a suppressor, which reduces the noise and muzzle flash of the weapon, making the unit less vulnerable to being spotted by the enemy. The XM250, the planned replacement for the M249 saw, is likewise gas operated and is also belt fed and fully automatic. One of the main selling features of the weapon is its weight being about 40% lighter than the saw, weighing in at a mere 12 pounds compared to the saw's 18 pounds, meaning that the soldiers carrying it will become less fatigued in combat, or during long-distance marches. 
The weapon also has a significantly lower recoil than the saw, improving accuracy especially at longer ranges. It's unknown what the cyclic rate of fire is, but parameters of the competition require that the machine gun have at least a cyclic rate of at least 600 rounds per minute. So it's safe to assume that the XM250 has that capability. The XM250, like its assault rifle counterpart, will also be outfitted with a suppressor. According to Six Hour President and CEO Ron Cohen, one of the additional benefits of the weapon is an increased barrel durability. Currently, the M4's barrel wears out after only firing 6,000 rounds, necessitating a replacement. The new generation of weapons will be able to fire 12,000 rounds before wear and tear makes the barrel unusable, cutting down on the maintenance cost and allowing individuals to be fielded for longer periods of time before needing refurbishment. Currently, the M4 can engage targets at an effective range of about 500 meters, and the SOC can lay down suppressive fire effectively at around 800 meters. There are fears among critics that the 6.8mm round might not have the same potential range, but it would necessitate a change in combat doctrine. The armies declined to answer what range the new weapon is, both maximum and effective. Though what is known is that the 6.8mm round has a chamber pressure of around 80,000 psi, which is significantly higher than the 62,000 psi generated by the 5.56 round. This increase in chamber pressure can potentially give the round improved ballistics in terms of both range and accuracy, without the need for a heavier round or forcing the weapon to use a longer barrel, which would then make the weapon more cumbersome. Arguably the most important feature of the new weapons is the advanced optic system. Both the XM5 and the XM250 would come equipped with an XM157 fire control system, made by Vortex Optics. This system is multi-purpose, featuring a scope with 1-8x magnification, a laser rangefinder, aiming lasers both visible and infrared, and a digital display overlay, a built-in compass, and an etched reticle that can be used as backup for aiming in case of power failure. It also includes a ballistic calculator and an atmospheric sensor suite, which can process environmental conditions and then make adjustments to the user's aim, allowing a soldier to engage targets more easily with less intensive training, while also allowing for more accuracy at longer ranges. This optic system, when combined with a lower recoil on the XM250, would seem to indicate a renewed emphasis on engaging enemies with precision at longer ranges as opposed to close quarter fighting and massed firepower. The intention for the XM5 and the XM250 is to be initially given to frontline soldiers, including infantry, special operations personnel, combat medics, cavalry scouts, forward observers, and combat engineers. Other soldiers, including rear echelon troops, truck drivers, logistics, and medical personnel, will continue to use the M4 and SAW for the foreseeable future, until production capacity can equip these as well. Currently, the Army has plans to issue the new weapons to 121,000 soldiers, making plans to purchase 107,000 of the new rifle and 13,000 machine guns and distribute them among active duty and National Guard troops. It is hoped that they will start to be issued by late 2023, though there is no concrete timeline for the implementation of the new firearms. It's also unknown what units will be the first to receive the new weapons. There are also some reports that the Marine Corps will purchase a small number of the weapons, although those details are unknown. One of the major issues in getting firearm into the field is logistics. The US military has a vast stockpile of 5.56 rounds, having used the cartridge since the Vietnam War. This new 6.8mm round would require replacing all of the current inventories with the new ammunition, which is a monumental task. The Army has plans to create a new factory that is specifically dedicated to manufacturing this kind of ammunition, and it's hoped that this facility will be up and running by 2026. In the interim, Six Hour will produce the rounds for the Army. In addition to logistics, soldiers will also have to be retrained in the use of the new weapons, which is also a vast undertaking. As stated earlier, the performance of the new generation of weapons might be different than those currently in use, and it'll take years of trial and error until those doctrines can catch up with the technology. It's unlikely that the M4 and the SAW are going to remain in service as the primary infantry weapons for the rest of the decade. If successful, it's possible that the other NATO nations could switch their current firearms to 6.8mm as a replacement to the 5.56 currently standard among NATO forces. This is not the first attempt to replace the M249 and the M4. Initially, see, the army tried to find a per-existing rifle to replace the M4, planning on having the weapon chambered in 7.62, citing fears about facing adversarial states whose body armor could deflect the 5.56 round. This program was cancelled in 2017, which prompted the New Generation Squad Automatic Weapons Program to be implemented. Starting in 2010, the US Marine Corps had been phasing out the SAW in favor of the M27 Infantry Automatic Rifle, or the IAR, which was manufactured by Heckler & Koch, which is the primary light machine gun of the Corps. Though there are around 8 to 10,000 SAWs still in use by the Marines, 